We're just running a 1050 adventure. Which one? That one? Oh, again, same disadvantage uh, with the GS. Very windy around the screen. Don't know if you can set the set the screen like on the GS. I think you could disengage disengage the screen on that two levers on each side and then pull it up. But I'm not trying to do it now. But that's your range, 100 miles. I can't believe it. The tank's almost empty, but it's not showing a warning, so it can't be that bad. so much easier than on the SMC. There's no replacement for displacement. Yeah, if you tuck behind the windscreen, it's much better. It's a funny sound of the engine. It's like... I did a bit of a read about that bike last week. It's funny. I thought, hmm, that could be one of my next bikes. And now they're doing a test ride. And that bike is supposed to have a really, really nice torque range. I like that. And I guess that's why the bike feels so smooth. Ah. But my shoulders are beginning to hurt. Yeah, so if I'd be going for that bike only with a bar riser and a different screen. So I guess this bike has about um, 98 horsepower or something. So if you check out the power and the torque distribution curve, it's almost the same like on the 1290 Adventure or 1190 Adventure but the 1290 or 1190 Adventure peaks at 150 horsepower and I think you don't even need that. The 1050 engine is more, uh, is more torque tuned so to say. That was my group. I wonder how that bike is in the twisties if you're really going fast, but I think not so bad. For example, when I was starting to ride with other super motor riders in Germany, there was one guy in a group of four, and he was the only one with a GS, with a BMW GS. We did a tour for 100 kilometers or something, and I picked roads that I knew like the back of my hand. So I told these guys, all right guys, I will not be taking it slow. Okay, fair enough, we'll stick to you. And the other two guys, one was on, a, on an Aprilia Dorsoduro, the other one was on a 690 SMC. And the only guy that could keep up with me was the guy on the GS. So if you're riding with supermoto riders, loads of them are nuts, really nuts. But that's a fun bit of it. So, to summarize, I really like this bike. I think with a couple of smile mods, it would be really suitable for me. However, it doesn't have much, um, how do you say, emotion. It doesn't have much emotion. The 690 SMC is a completely different beast. But for long trips, I think, if I'd had the choice between the, both of the two, this would be my choice. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, leave a like, and I will see you on the next one. See you guys. I was late anyways. <laughs> <laughs> You're enjoying yourself there, are you? Bam, bam, bam!